going on world? I'm your host George Killer. Welcome to episode 3 of Sneak Peek Season 6. We continue with the specific series which only highlights themed collections by making our way to New Jersey to put the spotlight on one of the biggest Reebok collections in existence. DJ Senator has been collecting pumps since 2000 and has one of the biggest sneaker compilations to show for it. Check it out. All right, Nice 6 fam, we're out here in New Jersey, this time with DJ Senator. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Hey, look, you're in the pumps, right? Heavy. Hey, I got my Reeboks on. They're not pumps, but... I see the questions. Burn rubber. Shout out to burn rubber. Nice. But let's check them out. Let's do it. I got into pumps in probably my freshman year of college. They reminded me back in the day. I was into Jordans at the time, heavy. I bought a couple pairs of pumps and started searching eBay and online, and they started putting out more and more retros, and then nobody was buying pumps, so... Everybody was doing Jordans and Dunks. And my business partner was like, dude, you should just sell all the Jordans and do pumps. So I was like, man, I don't know if I could sell everything. And I had probably had, at that time, maybe 200 pairs of Jordans. Slowly and slowly, I sold everything and I just bought more pumps with it. And that's how it started. And then it just got bigger and bigger and bigger. So I would say now I'm probably close to 500 pairs of Reebok total. I probably have close to 400 pairs of pumps. Um, then I have some kamikaze, some questions. So uh, I try to keep everything in order. And a lot of the stuff I wear is over here. A lot of the pumps that I wear, I got some questions, um, OGs. And then from here over is pretty much what I don't wear, just collection. So, uh, Twilight Zones, Omni Lights, these are all Omni Lights. Got your Basquiat's, Court Victories. Uh, and then over here we got all your Pump 20s and Omni Zones, you know, a couple collabs, Soul Box, Packers, um, Court Victories again. Try to keep it in much order as I can, but you know, as you can see, I'm running out of room. It's not as easy as it used to be to uh, to come across them. I lost a couple auctions recently at up to almost 450 for a pair of originals when I got a lot of these at, you know, 50 to 100 bucks. This is uh, as original as it gets, the OG bring back. It's held up pretty well. It's uh, glue starting to come through a little bit, but you know, not too bad. Pumps, they actually pump up the midsole under your foot. So it gives you a little bit of a I guess an arch, which is kind of crazy. Uh, these held up actually. Most pumps, to be honest, OGs hold up really well. Uh, I got some, I'll show you, I'll break out a pair of uh, Omni Zones. Those things look like they were made yesterday. I mean, <laughs> that's pretty crispy. I got doubles of these. I bought a couple. You know, if I could find doubles at a good price, I'll buy them. Pump arsenals. When I would talk to Reebok, I was like, man, you gotta make, before I knew what it went, what went into like making a retro, like with the molds and whatnot, but the arsenals. I'm lucky enough to have two pairs of the blacks. This is my favorite OG pump. Original Twilight Zones. Midsole's a little rough. Usually you find these plastic pieces crack off over age just cause Obviously it's plastic. I actually have the same shoe, Twilight Zone, made for uh, Boomer Esiason. It's a football cleat, which again, plastic pieces are broken off. But other than that, this thing's in great shape. Nobody even bid on it on eBay. So I just hit him up. I was like, yo, I'll give you 50 bucks, done. I got two pairs of these. These were made for uh, Roger Clemens. Got the pump stitch baseball. I ended up getting two pairs of these from Buddy Jed. He scooped these from like a store closing. It was literally like $2. And he got both pairs and he sent them to me, which was like insane. Another baseball cleat. I don't know who Pro Rock, what Pro Rocco is, but I like the, had a little uh, speckle midsole. It was the Greg Norman golf cleats. Which actually, when I would do some shows, most people would look at these. Got the dual pump on the side. They're starting to get a little gluey too, but for the most part, they're holding up pretty well. The OG D Browns that he wore in the dunk competition, which are actually Omni Zones, not Omni Lights. They did those after OG or C2. I think it says 92 on there. It's a little bit higher, I think, than anything else, but still, again, I mean, 
they look like they were made pretty recently. So yeah, they held up well. I got two pairs of those. This took me a while. Whenever these are on eBay, they get probably between four and 500, which these have never even been laced up. They got the pumps and the release valve on the back. There's a black pair that I don't have still, but everything, I try to keep all the original tags on everything, but these are in good shape too. These came with every pump and it'll show you all the different uh, pump systems, like where they sit in different shoes. I search eBay every day. Say I miss eBay, you know, for a day. The next day I see sometimes something popped up. I'm like, man, see, I would have missed it. So that's how I, you know, acquired a lot of this stuff is you get lucky. I mean, a while back, I don't think as many people were looking for pumps as they are now. So it was easier for me to get stuff and not miss out. But now I'm noticing more and more pumps that would sit for a while that I could be like, oh, I'll kind of wait it out. They're, they're gone. Uh, this is a good story. Court Victory 2. They retroed these. They're a little different on the retro, but they were retroed a couple colorways of these. Um, it's got Goodyear rubber on the sole. This was actually, I was at um, Soul Exchange at uh, Brookdale Community College. Rarely do people do pumps that have any Reeboks at any of these shows. We're setting up the table and this older guy comes up and he says, my son bought these, I don't know how much they're worth. I'm trying to sell them. Opens up the box and these are them and I don't have these. There's, uh, there's a white pair I cannot find. There's part of it cracked on the, uh, on, uh, the other shoe and I said, I'll give you a hundred bucks, you know? And uh, he was pretty happy with the price. I don't think his son paid more than that. So I was said, I wasn't trying to, I'm not trying to rip anybody off. It's just, it's what they're worth, you know? Um, Honestly, for some stuff, I'll pay more, but for this, you know, it was a little cracked, you know, so the day was worth it for me at that point. So the OG core victories, just one of the uh, OG colors. One of the uh, guys who worked at Reebok, he actually, I think he invented the Instapump Fury. And I think we met through Facebook somehow. So this is a OG blacktop battleground. Still got the development uh, sample tags on there. And so he's got some stuff that, you know, was never seen. That's when I kind of got involved with Reebok. I used to search Craigslist now and then for pumps. Just, you know, I pick up a couple things here and there. And I found a, just an article on Craigslist saying they were looking for people who have Reebok pump collections. And I just answered the Craigslist ad and it actually was put out by the dudes at Bodega. They got in touch with me and Crooked Tongues was helping Reebok with the documentary. So they sent me to Boston and I met uh, a couple people from Reebok and shot a documentary. I was shooting in a taxi with just a couple pairs. And uh, then the next day they were like, hey, you wanna just come? We're gonna shoot with Dee Brown at a local gym. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'll go meet him. You know, that, I wasn't planning on doing anything. And then when I get there, they're like, we're gonna throw you into the lines then. Just uh, just talk with D Brown in the middle of this basketball court. And I was like, about what? And they were like, just about Reebok and your collection and this and that. So just me and him in a gym, center court. And I'm just talking to him about, you know, where his OGs that he wore in the dunk competition and they're in the hall of fame. and. You know, they still would send them stuff before Reebok got, you know, back on the, the retros. They would still send them boxes of shoes. And that, you know, that was just cool for me, you know, just coming from, this is what I do is the pump. So meeting him was kind of pretty cool. So yeah, this is a, uh, the indoor court pump volley low. Instead of the basketball, it's got a little volleyball on the pump, which is cool. There you go, something different. Probably haven't seen those, a little gum bottom. Tennis pump mid. Try to keep all those hang tags on there. Just one of my favorite colors, the SXT pump mid. So like a cross trainer. I have another color, I'll try to find it. It's, um, might be actually right here. These tend to crack off, which is, you know, these are actually in good shape, they haven't cracked. My other pair, it's the white and blue pair. You see it's starting to crack a little bit down there, but the other shoe I think has this piece almost cracked off. It's not quite off yet, but you know, it's holding together. The uh, OXT, they actually retroed this 
in this color, but I don't think it was in the US. I don't think it came here. Uh, it was Europe, I think. Very similar, but another little outdoor pump. Some pumps, you know, they would, they would release overseas, either Europe or, uh, you know, a lot of like Japan, they have a lot of collabs that we don't get here at all. So, and getting them here is not impossible, but it's, you know, the exchange rate and a lot of the stores just don't ship to the US. D Brown's signature shoe, it's called the D Time. They actually retro these as well, probably 07, 08, something around there. Not exactly to the, you know, the exact, but black suede gum sole. There's a couple original colors. There's this black suede, white and blue pair, gum sole. And then I have another pair I didn't break out. It's just uh, all gray suede, same thing, gum sole, but it's one of my favorites. Cross training pump, the eliminator. It's a little low cut. So this is like more of a really low top. I'm not gonna let you not show us that gray shoe you just mentioned. Oh, okay. That's my favorite color. Oh yeah. So I wanna okay. see those. Okay. <laughs> this is the gray D brown, gray suede with the gum sole. Got a little cracking on the uh, suede here, but yeah, not too bad. I have a sample retro of this. I don't think they retroed it. It's the same thing, but they did it, again, they did it in leather, not suede, which I think the suede would have been a, a better look. I mean, I think I'm pretty heavy into some samples. I buy whatever I find. A little bit of a crazy color they used, but nice. OmniZone, not a bad little color. It's like a navy and white pair, Twilight Zones. This never released, it's a, like a Celtics color, Twilight Zone. Reebok showed it in some of the Pump 20, uh, they had like a timeline. And it was crazy that this is the color they showed on the timeline in one of the online pieces. Some of the crazier ones you might have never seen. I post them on Instagram now and then, but they actually did these colors similar in the uh, retros of these, but they uh, these were made for Soul Collector, uh, which on the other shoes has their logo. So. Sample color they did on the Atmos Omnilight. Did it in a little brown, which originally came out in purple. I was told that this was uh, supposed to be for St. Alfred. I, I don't honestly know. That's what they, you know, I was told. Some nice, some nice materials. It's like gator, some nice suede. So I don't honestly know, but again, I've never seen it. This was uh, another version of the Hannon Omnizone. So originally it was done in like that navy. What's more important to you, your samples or your OGs? Um, the OGs, I've gotten, I, I, I'm glad that I have them now because it's obviously where it started to where it is now. I have more samples that nobody has. I mean, it's harder to find samples than, I'm sure some people have original pumps sitting around, whether they collect them or not, they're just, around so yeah they're getting harder to find but i think samples are probably harder to get your hands on reebok sent me these during the pump 20 just samples of uh the bringbacks they did these are actually a life's one of 29 and the samples actually don't have a pump bladder in them so it's kind of you know it's kind of cool i have them both in white and black colors these are just uh signed uh, Paul Litchfield and Dominique Wilkins at the, uh, there was a Pump 20 event in New York City and it was crazy. They had black and white pairs just hanging from the ceilings. And at the end of the night, it was, they were taking them down and my business partner was like, can I just g grab a couple pairs so they can sign them? And they let, you know, we took like two or three pairs. I'll show you those OXTs I was talking about. So those are the samples. Not sure if they really released. I've seen a couple pairs here and there. There's a red pair. Not bad. Pre-seasons. But these I bought years ago, probably maybe four, four years ago, something around there. I always love this shoe. And they've tried retroing them in the past. 
because I know because I've seen them to order and then they never got made. A couple pretty nice colorways. Almost similar to the Seahawks color that just released, but a little different. Thanks to uh, Paul Litchfield at Reebok. He uh, allowed me just to mess with some colorways on the bring back at the factory. He made them. Like I couldn't mess with materials. I could do the black pair and the white pair and just switch up some colors. So I did uh, just that one, a little red. Something about turquoise. I like, so, did black with turquoise, came out pretty nice. I wanted it to be a little more tennis ball yellow, because I love that, but they came out more like a sprite color, but still pretty sweet. When I was posting a lot on Instagram, he commented on a couple of my photos, like, your pump game is ridiculous. Like we got to get in touch, this and that. So nothing ever really came of it. I was hoping something would, but, um, and uh, to be honest, Swizz, he steals some of my photos <laughs> and he posts them on his Instagram. Uh, he's only giving me a shout out like once or twice for it, but it's cool because he's done a lot for the brand. Nobody has brought more to Reebok in the past couple of years than Swizz has. I mean, he's gotten Reebok on the feet of a lot of these entertainers, you know, and it's all been pretty good. So now I'm gonna show you guys a couple of uh, OG pump models that you probably never even heard of or seen. Almost forgot about this sample that, I don't know how I almost forgot about this. Heineken's made for Heineken reps in Canada, 20 pairs. They were given to them, so you couldn't get them couldn't buy them. Um, I even asked my friends at Reebok if they can get me a pair and they couldn't. I found a guy on eBay who had a pair. He wanted like three grand. Took me three months. They didn't sell. Three months and I got him to a thousand. Actually my now wife bought them for me for a Christmas present. So, and this was the holy grail. I mean, you do not see these anywhere. This is a uh, Omnilite with uh, extra large. These are one of my favorites. Commonwealth, their first pump collab. The Swirls, 100 pairs made. And actually, they were in store first for the, for the whole weekend. Monday morning, you could call them, whatever they had left. I got the last size nine. Artist collection they did. Only overseas. Did three colors. Did a black. They did a blue and they did a tan. Chapter World always gets to do, I don't know how many Reebok collabs they've done. They did this in Omni Light in a Court Victory. It actually completely glows in the dark. They got a thing for all red. This is a Juggernaut pack. There's an all blue one too I can't find. My Pump 20s, I'm only missing that espionage. I got a buddy who's got three pairs. And he won't let one go. He's like holding over my head because he wants the Heinekens. I'm like, dude, you're never getting those. The A-Life Pump 20 that never released. Mayer really wants this. Bad. I was next to him at, uh, uh, I think it was the Funk, the Funk show. And he just kept trying, to st he kept trying to steal it. But uh, this one, yeah, only a couple pairs got out. And then just something crazy is uh, size. Did a size 20, you get one of each. <laughs> Which is just insane. Even my dog, even Gizmo's into the Reebok. <laughs> well, Senator, I'd like to thank you, man, for letting us come out and getting a sneak peek with yourself. No problem, man, I appreciate you. I like to show people, you know, what I got they might not have seen before. Right. Thank you. Great.